Hi everyone, I'm back. This is part uh, four and I have the cover all done and dry and very nice. <laughs> I like it. I like my dragon. Now, I've just painted uh, here with the brown that I had left and went around the edges again with a little bit of gold to have highlights. I'm thinking of gluing here some kind of paper but I'm not sure yet so I decided to paint it so it will be it still be nice and it's I'll still have some kind of frame if I'm putting here some kind of paper now I'm going to make this into a box and but you don't have to you can also use it if you want as an art journal the basic uh, there are many uh, videos that will explain how to alter an old book into an art journal you basically you decide how many uh, pages you want and you will glue two to three pages so you there will be more uh, they will be easier to work on and Sometimes, uh, at least I did with other books, it depends on the book, I've removed the uh, parts of signatures so because I glue a lot of things inside and then it gets bulky and it starts to tear apart. But this, uh, this time I'm going to make it into a box like I've showed you uh, here. So basically uh, to start you need to glue all these uh, pages all around just take a uh, white glue and gently go over everything now, as you can see, this uh, tries to move, but once I'll lay it flat, uh, everything will be in place, and I can also put something heavy to so it will have pressure and everything will stay down. So for now, I'm just putting down glue like so, moving around. Here we go. Oh, and I almost forgot. I need to attach all this bulk to this side, unless I want my box to open to this side. That's you. You need to decide which uh, way you want it to open. So I'm going to put glue here. Lots and lots of, of glue. go putting it down just moving over everything again because I will need to cut here the space and I don't want anything moving now uh, most of the uh, videos that I've seen are they are making more than one compartment 
to the box um, the original video that I've seen uh, by Inat Kessler which I left a link to in the first video uh, she did uh, three uh, compartments and put uh, little things in them it was for Halloween um, I'm not doing it <laughs> certainly not for Halloween uh, but you can do it uh, just plain uh, on the sizes that you want uh, to put like if you want to do something that you have this kind of bottles that you want inside your compartments you take one bottle with the lid and you plan on the size you want so it would fit in and will stay uh, on it like a shelf if you want two bottles or any, anything you want to place in you need to measure and decide and draw it so you know what you are going to cut inside so I'm I'm lazy and I'm going to do only one compartment <laughs> and i advise you to take um to go inside at least one centimeter less than one centimeter you, you can but i think it won't it won't be uh, firm enough and it won't hold um, good enough so i'm measuring one centimeter in inside like so again here I hope I'm in frame I don't care uh, what's on this page because everything is going to uh, get painted So here is my frame and now it's the hard work of starting to cut all these uh, pages and this is going to be the frame of my box which to me looks not straight here I need to see what's going on Okay, I'm gonna fix it. Okay, now uh, it's better to wait for all this to um, dry. I'm just going to demonstrate because this is going to take a lot of time and I want to move on. And it's for a aim. <laughs> I'm crazy. 
What am I doing at 4 a.m.? So, it's going to be kind of hard because of the glass uh, stone that I put as an eye. But, we'll make it somehow. Now, this has to be, uh, you need to be very patient and you need to work with a really uh, sharp knife and go easy because you want it to cut and not drag the page. And each time you just remove another layer of pages until you get to the depth you want your box to be. Don't throw away the pages, you can always use them to add for other projects. Now you see, first of all, uh, I didn't get uh, all the way to the corner, so it's still uh, attached. And because I didn't wait for the outside to dry, then it goes like this. No harm done, I'll just do it like this go over the corner like so I'm gonna hit the whole all these pages in one place so I will have them for other things and I'm thinking I'm gonna wait for my edges uh, all around here to dry so I can continue without uh, stopping each time when it doesn't uh, work so well. I'm putting more glue and I'll come back once uh, I've removed all the pages that I want to remove uh, from inside. Now um, you can also uh, very gently and uh, put glue as you go but then you will have to wait each time like i will put here glue so it won't move and now i will have to wait before er for everything to dry before i I will go and remove another uh, batch of uh, pages. Remove. I will cut. So I'll be back. I'm back. I'm tired. I really, really uh, repressed how difficult it was to go inside and cut uh, into the book. <laughs> my wrist is just hurting but I want to finish with this uh, thing because I want to move on uh, to the next stage as you can see I'm uh, pressing everything down and gluing all the sides lots and lots of glue and there are a lot of little pieces but I shall overcome this with the glue here we go the corners were the the worst 
I really forgot how difficult this was. Pressing down uh, in the corners so everything will hold down. And since I've cut and it's still moved, I'm adding more uh, glue to the sides. I really made uh, this uh, difficult when I've glued the glass stone so I don't have a stra straight surface to work on. to put pressure on it so it will flatten out and everything will be glued uh, down tightly so I'm going to find uh, some plastic or nylon anything like it because the glue won't uh, attach to it and here we go I'm going to put this here and I'm going to close the book. I wish I had some clamps like carpenters do. Maybe then I could keep everything closed and under pressure. Okay. Here is all the, the pages I've cut and I'm leaving this here and I want to move on while I still have time with this uh, video to move to the wand and basically as I th uh, told you in the first uh, uh, part in, in part one this was an afterthought uh, of the of this I just wanted to make a wand so I'll just uh, show you how to make one I took an old uh, paintbrush I always have one that I forgot to put in water and the bristles just dried so I took off this and used this as the base to my wand so what I'm going to do, I need my glue gun and I haven't fired it up but let me tell you how I made it and then it will be on the next video. Well I have got some beads here and basically I'm going to glue them down with my glue gun so I will have some kind of handle something like this to my wand and uh, that's the beads that I've just uh, found maybe I will have something more maybe I'll use only these two and basically once everything is attached the beads to uh, this I will start a working on my texture. Here I've used a twine, a, this one, and here I used a, more of the paper towel. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, wait for all this to dry and I'm going to wait for my glue gun to heat up and then there will be part five <laughs> so bye for now